So there's different types of conditions of release that a judge may require. A common one is a bond, right? So you have some money down or something like that, or a bond from a bondsman to ensure and guarantee that you're gonna come back to court, right? If they think they might be a flight risk, right? Another is maybe some release supervision, sorry, pretrial release. So pretrial services kind of, you have to check in with them as the case is going, you know, check in. Sometimes they'll have you drop, you know, they'll do urine testing. It just depends on the type of charges. In the case of a domestic violence arrest, the most crucial, most important one of your conditions of release is a no contact order. A no contact order on a condition of release is standard for any domestic violence arrest. So when you get released, they'll give you a document that provides you with all your conditions of release, everything you have to do or not do, you know, don't leave the state without permission and stuff like that. But the most important issue is that no contact. You need to look at it, see what it says, and make sure you understand it because it can get you into a lot of trouble if you don't.